Welcome to our fourth annual incarnation of the, shall I say, infamous agroecology place? Well, you can decide afterwards whether they should be infamous or not. It's an old uh, Wisconsin tradition to have plays about rural and agricultural life. It was very uh, much a part of our college, actually, during the 1930s. There was a special Wisconsin theater project. There's even a whole book written about it from a person who used to be in my department many years ago. And so we're trying to revive that and talk, about, use it as an example of how we can do, believe it or not, science communication. Yes, folks, you will experience science this afternoon. <laughs> and a whole lot more, beginning with our first play, The Organic Trail, by Richard Galliard, Caitlin Henning, Yi Chen Kiao, uh, Kao, I don't have, I, I, I'm really, I'm sorry, yes, she's happy with that, okay. <laughs> and Brady Williams. Trail. Your mission is to navigate your farm along the perilous journey to Century Farmhood. Maintain your farm for 100 years and secure your family farm's place in history. Josephine, I love you. <laughs> you purchased 100 acres and two oxen. And I just bought 100 acres and two oxen so we can start a family that will live with the land for a hundred years. Oh, Joseph, I love you too. But how can we do all the things like this? Well, I've taken out a loan from the bank. I bought a tractor and some seeds. And the only thing else I need is the sweat on my brow. <laughs> <laughs> After 10 years of grueling labor, you have a burgeoning family and have paid back half your loans. Joseph, you have no time for kids and me anymore. You just go on and on about all the weeds coming up in your corn. And you just let all the weeds grow like gangbusters in our bedroom. I have enough of it. Dang it all, Josephine, what am I supposed to do? Farming is hard work. It's not anything simple like washing dishes and folding laundry. It's hard, it's hard to have done work. And I do it for you and the kids. <laughs> Why, hi there, Farmer Joseph. I represent the greatest name. Well, thank you there. It's a little hard after so many years of riding the horses. I do have a little trouble on the walk in there, so I just help me with the balance. All right, thank you. I think I'm good for a moment here while I beat uh, my lines. Anyway, so uh, I, I represent the greatest name in agriculture. You know what name that is now, don't you? I sure don't. Monsanto, of course. Oh, yes, sir. Ah, gum it is. Now, if you invest in our no, new herbicide, we can save you from all these sacrifices you have to make to keep your fields clean. Yes. Well, what have you got? Well, uh, we got uh, two, four, D. Yep. If it's good enough for our troops, it's good enough for your corn. Yep. 
corn. That's a that's a three syllable word, you know. Corn. Or, 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 maybe that's four. I'm sorry, that's four. However many you need to get through today. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah. So you want you want it? What do you think? Well, I don't know. Do you think 2,4-D will take care of all our weeds? Well, what? That, that's what I'm a saying. Monsanto can cut your workload in half. Miami can cut your husband's workload right in half. Yep. You can a purchase a contract with Monsanto for one thousand dollars a year. B buy a new cultivator for $10,000, or C, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. Well, let's give it a shot, or else work might not be the only thing cutting half around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you just need to sign right, right here, where it says $200,000 to me, and yeah, that's great. Right. Okay, good. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. You won't be sorry now. Hey, Johnny! Uh, yes, Bob, what's up? Be good and run down to Depot and hook up our new 2,4-D. Because your mother and I, we're going to take care of some business. <laughs> sure thing, Pa. <laughs> hey. Well, how, you're, 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 uh, you're Johnny, are you? Because uh, you're, you're maybe here to pick up your pal's new best friend? I guess so. Pa says this stuff will kill anything, even Canada thistle. I guess I gotta be pretty uh, careful with it, huh? Kinda... Oh, no, no, this stuff is safer than water. <laughs> <laughs> it is? Yep. Try, try it for yourself now. <laughs> Don't worry if it spills a little bit. Don't, don't worry about that steam and that melting it. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be back at the farm, but man, it is hot out. You know, I hate going all the way down to the well to get the water to feed the oxen. We did say this was safer than water. Hey, Oxy, come here! <laughs> you try to water your ox with 2,4-D, your ox has died. choose a family member to take over your farm. Will you choose A, Johnny, or B, Betty? Johnny! Yeah, Pa, what's up again? The time has come, my boy. I have done all of this for you. It's time for you to start your own family and take over the family farm. Yeah, about that. Uh, you remember that time we couldn't make our margins three years in a row? Yeah. Uh, what did you do? Well, I took out more loans. <clears throat> what was that? I don't think everyone could maybe hear you. I said I took out more loans, and I took them out for you. Yeah, well, I don't want it. You remember that time? Remember what happened when I was in the state basketball championships? Well, sure. Wait. You play basketball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. And the futures market, remember how it was all going to be okay because you had a... <laughs> well, I'd rather not think about that. Yep. And after Oxy died, after Oxy died, <laughs> Oxette was never the same. <laughs> she sold herself to the glue factory. <laughs> and you used the profits to help pay off some of the debt on that new cultivator. That's true. 